The misfeature maggot, Rabbi Dovber, once saw a crying child. He asked him, why is he so upset? The boy told him that they were supposed to play hide and seek with his friends. He was very excited about it because he found the best hiding spot. But maybe his hiding spot was too good because as the game went on, the boy who was it found everyone and was looking for this boy for a while and gave up on looking for him. So do you know what happened? All of his friends ran off to play a different game and he was still sitting in the hideout. The rabbi smiled and told to the boy, you know what? God has the same problem. He hid himself in this world, but maybe he hid himself too well. We were looking for him for a while and then gave up on it and ran off to do other things. Whenever there is something going on in our lives, do we just shrug our shoulder, shoulders and say, ah, it just happened? Or do we look for something deeper behind it? The Torah tells us that God is hidden in everything what is taking place in our lives. We just have to find him there. If something good happened to us, the first thing we obviously think is that we deserve it because we worked so hard. Sure, we worked hard, but maybe there is something deeper there as well. Maybe there is a high purpose why we were given these new opportunities. If there is, God forbid, something painful happening to us, maybe there is a message there as well. Possibly, we need to change something in our lives. If someone next to me is experiencing misfortune, God forbid, chances are that I am witnessing it because God thinks that I am in a unique position to help him. A friend of mine told me that when he was little, his grandfather had a ham radio. Sometimes his grandfather would allow him to sit on his lap and play with it, pretending to send Morse code messages. The boy was excited to hear the beeping and create his own sounds. Back then, he did not even realize that these sounds actually meant something. Now, he keeps wondering what people on the other end thought about his nonsensical messages. We are in constant communication with God, but our conversations are taking place in coded messages. He is talking to us through the events that He arranges in our lives. What we do as a result, it is our response to Him. We could continue playing with the radio without even realizing that what we do has a meaning. Or we could try to learn the language and decode the messages.